Lego trains have been an instrumental part of the Lego company. However, when we look at the history of Lego trains, we see an often forgotten tradition. Lego holiday trains. So let's travel back in time, to the year 2006. We would see the death of the 9V track, those iconic powered metal rails, who are on their way out, replaced with the RC battery system. This year, we would see a train that was a landmark of this transitional era. Released in 2006, set 10173 was the first official LEGO holiday train. But let's talk about the train itself. Decked out in festive reds and greens, colors usually associated with the advent, this train was everything you'd hope for in a LEGO Christmas classic. The model features a black and green locomotive with a blocky shape, reminiscent of this era's design schemes. It harkens back to the classic LEGO aesthetic. I also enjoy the small details of this model. The tender is very similar to the locomotive. Then we have the passenger coach in a controversial white color scheme. White represents peace, hope, but in the world of LEGO it means yellowing. Outside we have green wreaths highlighting this classic Christmas tradition. The black roof contrasts with the red and white of the coach. Then we see a tradition that will become a standard in LEGO winter holiday trains, a present coach. This car features wrapped Christmas gifts, including this bunny. We also do see a Christmas tree car. However, the most important element of this train is the caboose. It's a classic caboose in a green color scheme. Overall, this train was an instant classic. From its bold, blocky structure, it's a model that holds up even today. This was the set that sparked the beginning of LEGO's holiday train tradition, bringing the spirit of the season right to the tracks. After nearly a decade of waiting, LEGO fans were treated to another Christmas train set, the Winter Holiday Train, set 1025 with a power functions compatibility and a classic steam engine. This train featured almost the same color scheme, red, green, white and black, but this time we had the addition of dark blue and gold, giving the model a fancy look. The biggest advantage of this train over the 2006 version is the addition of these two colors. It might not seem big at first, but without these colors, this train would not have much power. The colors give presence to the train. When it's circling the tree, you can feel the holiday spirit in motion. Let's take a closer look at what this model offers, starting with the locomotive. Featuring a less blocky design, this new version is a significant departure from the 2006 version. With more organic shapes, it makes the model look more realistic, but the proportions are a bit off in my opinion. The locomotive needed to be a bit wider. This model features imaginary pistons as technical limitations don't allow those. Thankfully, this model can actually negotiate the tight LEGO curves. The colors go from black to white to green, with golden accents in a few details. The windows are done in red, showcasing almost all advent colors. Sorry purple. In this model, the tender here is more significant, as it can hold that giant RC powered up motor that didn't come with the set. Then we have the most significant car in this train, the flatbed wagon, with a rotating Christmas tree, toys and gifts. This is a great little example of doing something great with small pieces and now this is where things really start to shine. The holiday train itself is packed with just enough festive detail spinning around but the best part, the train comes with a train. This little train build is a joy. I have always been a fan of microscale LEGO trains appearing in sets and this one is no exception. But the fun is not over, the model also features a caboose, this time in a more red color scheme. This caboose is a bit small, it can't fit much, but the dark blue roof definitely makes up for it. My main criticism with this model is the lack of a proper passenger coach, so here's a mock to make up for it. And there you have it folks, a holiday train that truly captures the spirit of the season. The idea of a train chugging around the Christmas tree dates back generations. It started with real model trains in the early 20th century, often set up by parents who had once been children, mesmerized by locomotives at a time when rail travel was a symbol of adventure. LEGO picked up that tradition with their holiday train sets, giving us a way to create these memories ourselves. 
but we're not over with our little adventure. Next up we have a set that completes the train. Released one year after the train, we'll do see the fantastic Winter Village Station. This model features three main parts, a bus, a crossing and the station itself. The bus features a classic retro look, with a yellow color scheme and dark blue as an accent color. If you're a fan of vintage cars, you'll definitely enjoy this one. The train crossing is simple but effective, it looks more old tech than we have the main train station. It features a combination of sand green, nugget and the tent to create a cozy color scheme, something like global village coffee house. The train station features a main focal point with the clock tower in the center. The interior is simple but detailed, featuring a coffee house and a ticketing office. Then, more recently, we saw a very special model, a Winter Village Tram. This set didn't just include a tram, it came with a whole main street. Forget the rest of the buildings for a moment, this is the true highlight of the LEGO set. It's the kind of holiday detailing that takes you right back to those frosty scenes of a bygone era. The streetcar in itself is decked out with cozy Christmas touch. The designers were thoughtful in keeping the color scheme traditional, capturing the warm holiday palette that's very nostalgic and classy. While not included in the box, you can actually motorize this tram to run around the Christmas tree. The design of the tram is very reminiscent of the cable cars from San Francisco, as it doesn't feature any kind of electrification on top, suggesting some kind of cable system. Just like San Francisco, the model features half open seats and the enclosed part. The roof is colored in white, indicating the accumulation of snow. And here's the best part, LEGO didn't skimp on making the streetcar a display-worthy piece of its own. It's one of those builds where you can leave it all year round and not lose that holiday charm unless it yellows, of course. Let's not forget the rest of the scene. You've got a charming toy store and music store. The two buildings have a classic American Main Street feel. The brick building has a great aesthetic with dark blue color schemes. It also features red awnings. The other build features large windows and an interesting color scheme. Altogether, it's a nostalgic, bustling little Main Street. Perfect backdrop for our standout streetcar. Throughout the years, LEGO has done many polybags and promotional sets, featuring Christmas trains. However, this year we will see a special gift with purchase, set 4700, a holiday train, a charming little addition to the Christmas lineup. This miniature train pulls off some impressive detailing for its size. The locomotive in itself is decked out in classic holiday colors of green, red, with just the right touch of black and gold accents to bring a sense of elegance. The smoke stack even includes a whimsical smoke element. This train may be small, but it packs a festive punch. However, this model is a gift with purchase. If you spend a certain amount at the LEGO stores, they throw in a little bonus set for free. But nothing in life is free. Think about it, if you want this train, you have to buy other sets you don't want. But this holiday train is not too sharp for a freebie, especially if you are already planning a purchase around the holiday season. It's a nice way to add a little LEGO cheer to your collection. And there we have it folks, a journey through the history of LEGO trains. From the first holiday train set in 2006 to the latest additions, LEGO has captured the spirit of the season on rails. If you are as passionate about LEGO trains as we are and you want to see some truly mind-blowing builds, click this video on the screen right now to see the best LEGO trains designed by fans like you and me.